everyone. Today I'm on my way to uh, Estec, which is in Nordvik in the Netherlands. Estec is uh, ESA's largest center. It's our uh, technology and research center where most of the scientists and engineers uh, work. It's uh, where most of our space hardware and satellites uh, are designed, built and tested. We have the, uh, the giant vacuum chambers, the vibration test stands where we can put satellites through their paces before sending them into space. Uh, and I'm going to go uh, talk to some of the engineers working on the uh, technology demonstration projects that I'll be working on on board the ISS later this year. In particular, uh, the robotics experiments, haptics and meteoron. Uh, so it should be really interesting for me to get to know uh, a little bit more about the, the work that I'm going to do on the ISS. So really looking forward to it. Uh, it should be an interesting day. I'm with uh, Andre at ESA's Telerobotics and Haptics Lab. Uh, you're going to show me a little bit about uh, Haptics 2 and uh, Interact, which I'll be running from the space station hopefully in September. Right. Let's have a look. We have a setup here which is called Haptics 1. It's currently on the space station, operated already by uh, a NASA crew member and going to be operated by five more crew members. Uh, what this is, is a, a tablet PC that guides through an experiment for human identification and we have a force reflecting joystick here uh, or uh, in the medical world they ca call it an ergometer uh, to measure really interaction of humans and uh, mechatronic systems. So we'll be installing here new software uh, such that you can use the tablet and the joystick to do the Haptics 2 experiment which is going to be the first teleoperation from space to ground with force feedback into space. So what you can do is actually with your hand controlling this joystick uh, by this action controlling another joystick on Earth and feeling the forces reflected to your arm and will give you a set of tasks to discriminate stiffnesses and so forth and ask you to shake hands with some famous people probably. Cool. Um, and this is to, well, to, to get some baseline data for your your future robotic arms which are over here which are really really cool. Right. Can we go have a look at them? Let's have a look at the uh, SAM portable exoskeleton. Um, that's a, a more advanced joystick controller actually, an exoskeleton control device which has seven joints and it actually allows you to intuitively switch your arm in there and move together with it and when you move it you can actually control robotic arms as intuitively as you would control your own arm. And um, this device will also feed back forces to the astronaut arm such that he can exactly feel what is going on at the remote site. And so you're controlling this robotic arm over here now. Right, that's our white, uh, lightweight manipulator, which is a soft robot arm that is actually safe to interact with humans. And uh, it's now in a compliant mode. So it's interacting here with, uh, with a task board, which has several elements uh, like opening doors. Uh, you can extract drawers and sliders, uh, packs. And your task actually in the interact experiment will be to retrieve such a pack in an outdoor task board with a rover, drive to it, get it out and actually place it into another location, which is really a mechanical joining task uh, that requires quite some dexterity. So you insert this, this is sub-millimeter tolerance, titanium on brass, and you're actually latching it in place. So this uh, robotic arm by September will be installed on a rover. Right. It's actually the rover you can see on the poster over there. Uh, the, the Interact Centaur, uh, which has two robot arms that will be packed to be water and splash proof because we'll take you outside actually with the rover. It's a four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer platform of about 400 kilograms with the camera head, a six degree freedom camera and actually two seven degree freedom arms with grippers that you can use to do all sort of mechanical assembly and joining tasks. And this guy here is fully autonomous so it will be controlled on Earth via a cellular mobile phone network. So you from space will send data through two links to Earth here to the lab which will go onto cellular network and we can operate this anywhere on the globe. Fantastic, it's going to be an exciting experiment. Can't look, can't wait to to, to do it from space. Yeah, I'll, I'm looking forward to train you actually and to, to, to get our hands dirty with it soon. Excellent, thanks a lot, Andre. Thanks.